This is our second Target trip since we've had her. And she's alert in a way, kinda. I don't feel as stressed this time with bringing her in here because we would know what to do if she's crying in a way. Yeah. We would know what was wrong. Ooh, look at those cups, those are cute. Oh my gosh, cute cups. We bought her this little car seat wrap around -y thingy. She seems to really like it. She's just staring at it. We buy whatever she wants. Ain't that right, Daddy? That's right. She asked and she shall receive. Uh -huh. Have y'all ever seen horses that similar. look like that? They look like cows. They have such similar patterns. They look like cows. Heaven, they're just paint. That's what their name is. Like, so paint. cows that look like that are paint horses. No, that's, those aren't cows. Those are horses. I meant <laughs> horses. They're obviously horses, but they if look the like cows. If a horse has colors like that, like, that's what it's called paint. Oh. Well, I've never seen here we are. one like that. Maybe we're not the first people here. It's our first time going to church. Just me and Ivy. Dad's at work. So she slept seven hours last night. So I woke up feeling real good. And I was like, you know what? It's time to go to church, which is hilarious because it's the first day that I'm going back, but Hunter's at work. So I'm very proud of myself. Um, she still slept when we woke up. So I had time to do my makeup really quick. My hair was done from yesterday. So I just touched it up and then she napped. And then I had to wake her up from her nap so I could feed her before we went because I just didn't. I was like, our luck, she would wake up when we got there. They need to be fed. And I don't know if they have a breastfeeding room and I'm not comfortable even breastfeeding under a cover yet. Um, so I did put whatever, I cut my leg down in a haka and then I put it in a bottle just in case. But my sister and her husband are going so they will be there to help me just in case you know it's good to have extra hands excited i got her dressed she's so cute and this is i'm just so proud of myself i've come a long way in the nine weeks that she's been here they made it got the fam old um uncle connor helping out with the carrier joseph's name was changed she slept the whole time in her car seat. I didn't even have to get her out. It was really loud for worship, and so I thought that I'd wake her up, and it didn't. She slept soundly. Her outfit. Oh my gosh. We have a few hours before we have a gender reveal to go to. So, so far, today is going good with just us. I'm proud of us. High five. And hopefully she does this good all day, and then sleeps again tonight. Please. There, that's the right sign, please. Number two, we just meet. And her, without Hunter. We're going to one of my friend's gender reveals. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if, because the past few days she's been fighting her sleep and like nap so much throughout the day. But today she is so sleepy. And so I'm worried that she's gonna be sleeping too much and then not gonna sleep tonight as good as she did last night. I mean, she slept almost seven hours last night and that hasn't happened at all last week she slept six hours and we were getting in a good routine but i think she entering into her second leap don't know what it is it's i didn't either but it, there's an app called wonderworks and it just talks about their developmental periods and whatnot so it kind of prepares you so it explains kind of some of the stuff she's been going through if she's been extra fussy or you know, fighting her naps, cluster feeding, it really explains it all. Anyways, that's not a sponsorship or anything, a paid promotion, I wish. So she's sleeping a lot, so I had to wake her up before we came so I could feed her, so she was a happy camper. As long as I can help it, I'd rather breastfeed at home before I go somewhere. Nice person waved at me. That's a terrible angle. <laughs> and it is hot out here, and I'm wearing a blue jacket, but it's just like a safety blanket hardest part about going somewhere without my husband is having to tote this around by myself. It's pretty heavy. 
but we are leaving so she don't get before she gets fussy and hungry she did wake up so people got to see her and our friends are having a little girl so she'll have a little girlfriend have fun say yay to our friends we've had a long day so here we are taking a little couch nap watching a movie she should doze off soon but i love how she's just laying on me taking dolly outside Jay chillin. Mom outfit. Does anybody else have like one t-shirt that you, it's like a comfort t-shirt. Like this will be a t-shirt that I wear until I wash it and it disappears. I mean, there's holes all in it. It's so soft. It's seriously my favorite t-shirt ever. It's a biscuits t-shirt. I don't even watch biscuits baseball, but it's my favorite t-shirt ever. Say good morning. Daddy's going to get more tattoos. Can you believe it? The past appointment and this appointment were both already scheduled at one time. Uh, he's already saved the money for it. So, because tattoos are expensive. You're back already? Yep. With your new you tattoos? Might. No. You're about to have to go somewhere because I almost forgot the money. No, oh, speaking of money. So I just turned these cartoons on. She looked right over there at the TV. <laughs> she loves watching TV, even if it's not cartoons, don't she? Yeah, but especially if it's Coco Melon. Especially if it's Coco Melon. B I N G O B I N G O. Are you trying to put my finger in your mouth? Dolly. Hello. You want me to show you your tattoo? Sure. Got the new package. Part of it. It's not done yet. Yep, we'll have to do like a segment <clears throat> about explaining all the tattoos. Yeah. And showing them. It hurt very badly this time. I feel like this vlog might be all over the place in a sense of it's a multiple days in our life. Ivy and I are chilling in the car. Hunter is in a local coffee shop here called Wild Honey and get us some coffee and then we are gonna just go stroll around Target. I had to get out of the house. I felt like I told him if I stayed in the house any longer, I was gonna go crazy. Dad's for dinner just to hang out. Again, just to kind of get out of the house. He works tomorrow, so I won't get out by myself tomorrow. I'm still not at that level yet of independence. I get a little anxious going out. I haven't went out with just her unless I'm going to like a family member's house and then stay tuned to the end of this video because we are going to show you our new nighttime routine with her got some coffee cheers She always gets two washcloths, but then we she only ever uses one. So there's always just an extra washcloth on the counter. I've That's tried to tell her true. not to do that, but no. she does it anyway. That's not true. I put one in her body. I put one in her body and then use the other one. She doesn't do that. Yes, I do. Maybe every now and then, but most of the time she puts the one on her body and then she uses that one and then leaves the other one sitting on the counter. So while I'm waiting for the bath to warm up, sink bath, he's gonna take her and go undress her and i wish i could show that on here because she's just so cute but you know there's some creepers so i can't do that but i'm 12 pounds people whoa look at that baby girl them cheese you ready for your bath you ready for your bath two washcloths I have one my hair lol look like a chicken I have one washcloth and I'm about to put it on her body so like a little dress so like this 
Okay, you can't see her. And then you wet it, and then it makes her stay warm because she gets really cold if not. So then, while that's there, <laughs> the other washcloth, Mister, which hardly ever gets used, I use it every time I that have, that I'm in charge of the bath. True. It's true. That is not true. I use the other washcloth to wash her face, and then we have this little scalp scrubber that we use to wash her hair. I got this in a bump box. I love bump box. They give you all the good stuff. So this little guy is for, you know, cooking, but it works for a bath pourer, water pourer too, huh? You like that? Water pressure is just astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> this how we have a well water, and I guess that's why, because our dishwasher, we've got to get that fixed, because I'm tired of washing dishes. You are, because you wash them more than me. You're trying not to make a comment so bad, huh? No. Yeah. I didn't say anything. Yes, I read your eyeballs. So that soap. Oh, that's way too much. No, I'm, it's because I'm trying to, this, okay, to be honest, I'm trying to use this because I want to use a different soap already that we have, but I don't want to open one Wasting. when this one. I don't want to waste this by opening a new one. So I'm just trying to use it. I mean, we use it. Look at all the soap that's going over here. Hey, sweet girl. So I like this thing because, and I'm sure you can literally find what you want. swirls. I know, I just give her little cinnamon rolls. <laughs> cinnamon swirls. Like me, I did not even know how to give her a bath at first. It freaked me out, but I love bath time now. My hair is cracking up. Okay, so now. We come in here. And this is the part she cries. She'll come down in a minute. Did you fart? I did. Oh my gosh, that stinks. Hi, sweet girl. What's it to you, punk? You smell bad. Careful. Walk. Back out her hair sticks up. <laughs> 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 make sure I have everything back there because from this part on we don't leave the nursery. Now Devin's in there feeding her one last time and then she's probably gonna rock her here to go to sleep. Sometimes she we, she does it sometimes. I go in there after she feeds her, but anyway, she'll probably just go ahead and get her to go to sleep tonight, put her in her crib, and then good to go for hopefully a couple hours at least. I'm going to take this, wring it out, put it in the dryer for a while. It'll be mostly dry, and then I'll hang it up. So we moved Ivy to her crib, what, when she was seven weeks old? About somewhere around there, I think. Yeah, about seven weeks. We decided to do that. I know Google will tell you and other people say just that it's recommend, I think it's recommended that they stay in the room with you until they're at least a few, like four or six months mm -hmm. or even up to a year. And we had all the intentions of letting her stay in our room. So it's not that we just wanted her out of our room. It's just how it worked out. So we started her off the first six, seven weeks. She slept in her, well, the first like five, six, four or five. Four, five weeks. She slept in the bassinet by our bed. And it, I mean, the first, those first weeks were rough. I mean, her sleep was awful. Yeah. And I think that's to be expected too. She was up feeding every two hours. When she wasn't, it's not like she would just go to sleep. It, it was a long, long few weeks. 
So she hated her bassinet, so we were like, okay, well, maybe it's the bassinet. So then we put the pack and play bar bed. And she hated that. So I don't know if it was just our room or what. It's But she could never, like, get settled. Yeah, I feel like it might have been our room because we always took her and her in the nursery to right. change her and to, you know, put her on her little tummy time thing. Right. So all we, that stuff. And the only time she ever came in here was to go to bed. Right. So she didn't know. And we, know. we didn't even do her bedtime routine in here. No. We still did it all in there. Right. Well, really, it just kind of happened. So he was at work one day and I was so just sleep deprived and desperate. I was like, I'm going to try. I mean, I was looking up videos, all the things I didn't. I wanted to take the taking care of babies class for that it was expensive so I didn't do that I just watched other people's videos and asked for advice all this so it was one day I put her in her crib for one of her naps and it worked I mean she slept it was even for, it was just 30 minutes I think more like an hour but I texted Hunter and I was like she just slept in her crib and so in my head I'm like okay well why don't we just go ahead and try it to see it's not like we have a good sleep routine set anyways like she's not like the, it's not like she sleeps good in our room so you know when it was time for the crib transition as people say that it can be hard so i was like well it's not like she's stuck on that so right. let's go ahead and try it and i'm so glad we did it worked for <clears throat> us i think it worked because she knew her room we did everything in there we played in there we changed her diapers in there it was a good environment she loved it not that she's a perfect sleeper still but she'll give us at least like i mean she has slept up to seven hours mainly it's like four like, to five yeah in stretch when we put her down she may like i had she's to go put her passy asleep. back in her mouth we after about it. what five or ten minutes yeah so sometimes she'll do that once one two three times somewhere around mm -hmm. there and usually she sleeps for about Few four hours. to five hours yeah, that's a good and yeah and that's like straight sleep and then once she gets up to eat she doesn't really ever really go back to sleep like really good right. and stay asleep yeah so she it's, fusses and right. wants her passy back so it's not like the crib made her a perfect sleeper she still right. struggles but i think that's just normal that can when be she was in her bassinet we were lucky for her to sleep an hour uh, yeah, like that was good. Yeah. We were like, oh my gosh, she slept an hour. Yeah. But she also had day-night confusion. I just fed her. I tried to give her a full feed and then I rock her and sing to her or just kind of, I don't know, soothe her. And I've started to, just based on other things, put her in her crib drowsy. <clears throat> so not fully asleep but not fully awake. And like he said, five to ten minutes, she was kind of still tossing and stuff. But, and he put her passy back in, and now she's asleep on her own. So she feels asleep on her own, which is mm -hmm. good. That way, I think that's why she's sleeping better, because when she, if she wakes up on her own, she'll be able to put herself back to sleep. It's not like a right. shock that, oh, I'm not in mom's arms anymore. It surprises me that she does as good as she does, because during the day, she will not sleep on her back. I guess just in general, introduced naps in her crib first. And then we introduced nap time, night time. I like this for everybody. I mean, we just need, we were desperate. And obviously if she's been through a growth spurt, she struggles and we'll be like, oh, tonight was a rough night. Just up constantly. And it's more so rough on us, not her. Cause she, it's like, she's still asleep, but just is like needing just pop her passy back in or something. There will be some nights I'm like, can we just put her, bring her in here? And, Cause I know she'll sleep good beside me or whatever. Yeah. But we've really tried to stay consistent with her being in there. And I think in the long run, it'll- I think she likes it in there. I so. do too. When we first had her, I like didn't really want to give her a passy. Mm -hmm. We may regret it eventually. Mm -hmm. But right now it's so, I'm glad that she'll take it yeah because if not she would probably cry all night i do right and that's why she'll sleep a good right five hours and i don't mind if it all it is is getting up and going there and putting her passy back in her mouth yeah. and walking right back in here right there's nothing to that compared to having to listen her scream all night mm -hmm. you know and she'll be able to put her passy back in and i feel like that'll be so helpful um, oh my god I, I have asked for advice on that and some people said to go ahead and this is a sign that we need to drop the passy if she'll cry wake up and like be upset if her passy falls out but i just can't do that yet because mm -hmm. we it's not she will scream I mean, and cry right into a... and for us to get sleep like you yeah. said i'd rather walk in there 
right. for two seconds and put it back in her mouth and her be able to sleep two more hours. Yes. Right now, I'm like weaning one feed at night. So depending on when she goes down to bed, we kind of let her pick her bedtime in the sense of if her last nap is at seven for 30 minutes, then we'll put her bed at like nine. Her last nap is at five something and she's just you can tell she's a super tired and fussy. We'll put her in bed about seven-ish. Try to stick to a routine, but not a strict schedule. Yeah. And I feel like that's helped us not like stress out about timing and mm -hmm. stuff. So depending on when she goes to bed, I'll do, I'll feed her after the long sleep. <sighs> hey, did she you see that? was my hand. That was mommy's, that was me. That is how we moved our seven week old and she's what, 11 weeks now? Eleven and a half. Yeah, to her crib. Feels like she's been there longer. I than know. That. <laughs> I hope this was, uh, I guess, just entertaining or cause informative. Informative, maybe. Yeah, informative, helpful, just to hear it from other moms, see other routines. We're also not perfect. We are not sleep experts for our baby. But. We're open to advice. We don't have to accept it, but you know. Mm -hmm. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support if you will just like subscribe and hit that notification bell that's what it's called to be alerted when we post we're trying to post we've been posting about once for sure once a week sometimes twice a week so it just depends on what we get done yep. all right thank y'all for watching thank y'all sure tune in next week yes see what we have in store yeah comment yeah i guess comment too if you have any ideas yeah anyways all right thank y'all bye deuces